march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Gathered in their masses Just like witches He aligns masses. himself with the truth And it's time for you to choose a side Minds You're listening to Alex Jones Sorcerer of death's construction Welcome to the Alex Jones Show I'm David Knight here in Austin I'm filling in for Alex today On this Thursday, February 27th, 2014 and I'm going to be joined here by Paul Joseph Watson, who is one of our writers here, as well as a reporter. And he's an expert on what's going on in Europe with the IMF, with the EU, and with the Ukraine. And so Paul has published many stories about this as it's developing, talking about the, how the bankers are trying to get the Ukraine under their control. We also see how the U.S. is trying to increase tension between Russia and America. And, of course, that serves the interest of the military-industrial complex as well, doesn't it? It was They were searching around for a mission once the Soviet Union fell apart and they didn't have a credible enemy anymore. So now they're creating credible enemies everywhere, just like they've done since World War II. So joining us now is Paul Joseph Watson. Paul, how are you doing? Hi, David. Good to be back. Great to have you. Now, you want to talk about the IMF, and uh, they're jumping into the water here, offering all kinds of money to the uh, Ukraine people. Just uh, come on in and sign on the bottom line, right? It's like a kid that just graduated from college getting all these credit card offers, right? They have <laughs> it's amazing, David. The situation right now is 
We've seen the faux revolution stirred up by the West, by the NGOs, by the United States, by Britain. Now we're seeing the counter revolution, which is being stirred up by Russia and which is centered in the in the Crimea, the, the area of Ukraine to the south where Russia has a naval base. So we've basically got a massive arms buildup with Russia um, preparing fighter jets on combat alert. They've put out statements saying they've got 150,000 troops ready for a drill. Ukraine is warning against that military buildup, as is the United States. We've got deployment of a US aircraft carrier, which was planned in advance, but some are saying it's related to the building tension. And then we've got the fact, and this is the key to this entire story, on Infowars.com, central banker appointed as prime minister of Ukraine. Three weeks ago, the top US State Department diplomat in Europe, Victoria Newland, was involved in a leaked phone conversation with another top US diplomat. And they were basically plotting the overthrow of the democratically elected Ukrainian government. And the very person that Newland named in that leaked phone conversation that they would choose to become the new prime minister of the Ukraine, Arsny Yatsenyuk, is now the new head of the Ukraine. So the very person they named three weeks in advance is now in power, proving yeah. once again that this was an act of regime change. Oh, yeah. And, and it was even more than that, Paul. You know, I had Steve Pachinik on the nightly news and I talked to him about that phone conversation that supposedly was just amazing tradecraft and the the uh, American administration said, I just can't believe that the Russians would listen to our phones like that. And Steve Pachinik said, that was the phoniest thing you've ever heard of. The fact that they would do this on an open line, they wanted the Russians to know this. They wanted the world to know this. It was an in-your-face demonstration. It was provocative. It was trying to, uh, it's basically just hubris, but it's also very provocative. They're trying to provoke tension between the U.S. and Russia, not just pull the Ukraine out of Russia's sphere, but the Crimea is vitally important to Russia because that's their access to to water, to the Black Sea. Well, it would be like uh, Russia stirring up a revolution in Canada or Mexico, mm -hmm. or even you could think about it, if Scotland gained independence, it would be like Russia stirring up a revolution in Scotland targeting right. England. It's that sensitive because the U Ukraine is fundamentally linked to Russia historically. It's been part of Russia for the majority of the past 100 years, of course. And as you said, this, this leaked phone conversation, the media treatment of it was the fact that Newland said F the EU. And that's yeah. what all the headlines became about. Oh my God, she's saying F the, the F the EU. That wasn't the story. The story was they were picking by name the future leaders of Ukraine in the overthrow, the coup d'etat that they were planning. And now we see that that's come to pass, even though Russia started this counter revolution against it as part of the new Cold War that is emerging, the NATO encirclement of Russia. Now that that's come to pass in its first stage, the IMF is circling the wagons, its vultures are preparing to swoop on Ukraine to asset strip the country as part of their tried and tested IMF riot plan, as Greg Palast exposed back in 2001. And today the Associated Press reports that the IMF is sending uh, officials to the Ukraine to start discussing with the Ukrainian authorities which policy reforms would be required in exchange for an emergency loan program. So in, <laughs> in other words, again, just as they did in Greece, this yeah. is about turning Ukraine into the IMF, the globalist debt slave, yeah. by creating the loan shark environment where they have to sell off infrastructure. They have to impose draconian austerity measures, high taxes on their population, as happened in Greece, mm -hmm. and install technocrats in the government who basically serve as puppets to the IMF, to the globalists. Absolutely. You know, Bloomberg reports that they're going to give that they're offering them a $35 billion deal. And of course, that's much better than what the Russians were giving them. The Russians were only giving them $15 billion that they've halted. So they're going to get them totally in debt. Like you just mentioned, they're going to raise their taxes. They're going to control their country and they may wind up with a situation. You know, the one of the uh, previous uh premiers in the Ukraine was formerly a central banker in the Ukraine. So he was the one who was on the other side from Yanukovych 
and uh, or Yanukovych. I don't know if I've got the emphasis on the right syllable there, but I, I always get confused about the Russian names. But the uh, but he was a central banker, the guy for the opposing party. But he was a Ukraine central banker. These are the guys who've already spent, what is it, Paul, $5 billion to start this revolution there? Yeah, I mean, Newland announced back in December around the same time that John McCain went to Ukraine and was buddy-buddy with all these Nazis that are part of the opposition movement. Newland announced that the U.S. had already invested $5 billion in the protest movement in Ukraine. So again, that shows you they were prepared for this. The initial protest started, of course, back in November when Ukraine rejected the EU trade deal and went with Russia. But before that, they knew that this was coming because research shows, and this is linked in my article, that these democratic uprisings, whatever you want to call them, whether they're grassroots or not, whether they're grassroots to begin with and then hijacked by Western powers at, at a later date, they're entirely predictable because they're linked to the rise in food prices. You can track where unrest is going to happen in countries around the world based on if food prices rise above a certain level, mm -hmm. which is the UN Food and Agriculture Organization's food price index. Whenever that index rises above 210, the unrest quickly follows in all these different countries. You can track it from Syria, Tunisia, of course, with the Arab Spring, and most recently, Thailand, Venezuela, and you guessed it, Ukraine. So they know ahead of time when these uprisings are really going to pick up steam. So even if you believe, which of course a lot of these Euro Maiden protesters are dupes, they're useful idiots, even if you believe that it's an organic uprising to begin with, these democratic revolutions, as they call them, are seen years in advance by the US State Department, which is why the State Department knew as far back as 2008 that the Arab Spring was coming, which is why they had some of their top operators with these NGOs, also linked to the CFR, like Larry Diamond, actually training the Arab Spring leaders on how to effectively use Twitter and Facebook to stir up these revolutions. And as I documented in my expose of the I am a Ukrainian PR stunt, the, the very same individual, Larry Diamond, CFR member linked to the State Department, has done extensive work for the NED, National Endowment for Democracy. He was the one behind this viral video which was basically glib propaganda trying to portray the uprising in Ukraine as exactly that, just a grassroots democratic uprising, when in fact he was the one years ago training Arab Spring activists on behalf of the US State Department on how to foment faux revolutions. And in fact, they did it in the very same hotel that we visited last year for Bilderberg, because we spoke to the hotel staff, the manager, and he said, yeah, we had all these guys here back in 2008 talking about the Arab Spring three years before it happened. Yeah. So they know when these riots are coming. They have people prepared to train the leaders. And of course, Soros' Open Society Institute is involved in that as well on the ground with the actual protesters. So they know how to manage these controlled uprisings, even if they're grassroots to begin with. Well, it's very interesting that you mentioned that they see this as a leading indicator of the price of food because we just see in the news today that cattle futures in the U.S. have hit a record level. And we see that there's a real war on independent farms here in America. We've got some articles about that that we've been covering on the nightly news the last week or so. They're coming after farmers in just so many different levels. And it reminds me of what happened in the Ukraine. You know, Stalin's approach the Ukraine and one of the the gripes that the Ukrainian people have that is a legitimate gripe is they remember the Holodomor the starvation that was propagated against the Ukrainian people under Stalin we see however some of these same tactics that are are going to be used here in America where you've got the government coming in and shutting down farms over nonsense reasons they're now telling organic farmers that they can't use manure or have animals plow their fields I mean, this has been going on for millennia that this has happened but now you're going to have to buy commercial fertilizer that sort of thing but we see the the, the prices going on here we see the preparation in america that is our government 
giving military vehicles to police departments, buying billions of rounds of hollow point ammunition, not target rounds. As you pointed out, you were the spearheading those that research, Paul. It's very worrying to see these kind of leading indicators coming here. But besides just the 